This will be video five, the last one of this chapter. And here we're going to just do one problem that relates to dimensional analysis or converting between units. This is going to be the most difficult problem that we do, or the, this type of problem will be the most difficult. Uh, we can call it a two-dimensional conversion problem. And the reason we call it two-dimensional is because we'll have a two-dimensional unit, something on the top, something on the bottom. In this case, our two-dimensional unit is miles per gallon. So uh, we have 32 miles per gallon, which is essentially a measure of uh, how far a car can go on a gallon uh, of gasoline. And this is usually used, the miles are used in the United States, and so are gallons. In Europe and really every other part of the world, we use kilometers and liters. These are both metric units. So this would be an example, again, of converting from non-metric to metric units. We'll do the same thing as we've uh, done before. We'll follow those three steps. And the first step, recall, is to, con uh, to begin with what you want to convert and then include your units. So the way we're going to do this, I'm going to put 32. And I'm going to write my two-dimensional units a little differently. I'm going to put miles divided by one gallon. Notice this, if it's a two-dimensional problem, you have to first write it this way. And this allows us to more clearly see what is on the bottom and what is on top. In this case, on the bottom we have gallons, miles on top. I will convert uh, using a few conversion factors here. I'm given two. I'm giving um, a mile is 1.6 kilometers and a gallon is 1.78 liters. A good way uh, of uh, doing this is looking at what you want to end up with. We want to end up with kilometers on top. Currently, we have miles on top. So that will take a conversion factor, in fact, this here. And then we want to end up with liters on the bottom, and we begin with gallons on the bottom. So that will also take a conversion factor, and that's what we have here. So this will require two conversion factors. Let's write in the two conversion factors. Let's go ahead and do this step by step. The first, in the first step, let's convert the miles to kilometers. So because we have miles on top of the first, we'll ha have to put miles on the bottom here again so they cancel out. We'll put kilometers on the opposite side and our conversion factor is given to us as one mile equals 1.6 kilometers. So we'll do one and 1.6. This will cancel out miles and give us kilometers. The next thing we'll do is we'll convert our gallons into our liters. So since gallons is on the bottom here, you have to put it on the opposite side. In this case, gallons will go on top. This is important and a confusing point for students you essentially just have to line them up top to bottom so they cancel out. And this rule is from algebra. Anything on the top of a fraction cancels out with the bottom of the fraction. So on the opposite side, then we'll put liters because we want to convert from gallons to liters. This allows gallons to cancel out. We just pull in the numbers from the conversion factor. One gallon is 3.78 liters. We put that in and the setup is complete. What you'll notice is that we'll end up, our units will end up not being canceled out. The kilometers are not canceled out, and neither are the liters. And that is essentially what we want to end up with, kilometers per liter. Let's do this calculation. Go ahead and do the calculation as 32 divided by 1 times 1.6 divided by 1 times 1 divided by 3.78. Just kind of go across, up and down. So 32 over 1 times 1.6 over 1 divided by 3.78. The final answer should give you 13.5449. Um, recall that we want to use significant figures. So since we began with two significant figures, you will be limited by how, much you be, how many you began. In this case, we only need two significant figures. So the five will round the three up to a four, and we'll end up with 14 for our answer. Our units will be kilometers per liter. So we have 14 kilometers per liter. Uh, conversely, you could have uh, multiplied the whole top together, multiplied the whole bottom together, and then divided the top answer by the bottom answer. That would have given you the same uh, answer as well, 14 kilometers per liter. And this is how you do a two-dimensional conversion using our method of dimensional analysis. Oops, we got one. Go ahead and try this one on your own. Pause the video, try this one on your own uh, using the same method, and we will discuss it further in class. Thank you for watching.